another coolant delete for the rotor and an LDU. These are the caps, stainless steel, press in. This is what the manifold looks like when it comes out with the seal. This one was just starting to leak. And here's one that ruined the drive motor. She leaked pretty bad and the biggest problem was they let it sit. Uh, when you put this cap in, you got to remove this tube. What I do is I strap this down in a vise and I put a piece of pipe on here and I wiggle it back and forth and it snaps it off. And it's perfect for the coolant delete. Just sticking the delete back in this Model X. And I wanted to show you how I put fluid back in these drive units. Every time it gets a full flush and the coolant flush. There's no time like the present to ever do a coolant flush on these cars. I know many people don't think it's necessary, but uh, it is. I have some coolant that was sent in to Blackstone Labs. I have some transmission fluid that sent in to Blackstone Labs and I'm waiting for the results and I will share those as soon as they get back. Also just put in the new TRW. You can see it. Adjustable camber arms. And tomorrow morning we will go and get it aligned to some specs that we found that works best for premium tire wear. So let me show you how I put fluid Dextron 6 in these drive units. You can buy all these fancy filling machines. You can try to get your cord up there and squeeze it in. But for 12 bucks, you can buy a garden sprayer. And I tell you what, these things are meant to hold all kinds of chemicals. And they do great. I also use a smaller version of this for bleeding brakes. I pressure bleed brakes with a garden sprayer. And it works perfectly. So... Let me just pump this thing up, get some pressure in it, and I just pull the tip off. Anybody can go out and buy tools. And the Snap-on man just loves it when you do. But why buy a tool when you can be uh, like tool, tool man Taylor and make yourself some of your own tools. So I just stick her in there and just let it go. It's not the fastest thing. But it puts it in there, and I've noticed to fill these, you usually have to pump it up twice, get enough pressure in there. I thought about putting a little valve and some air to it, but the pump works so good. I don't know why I would want to mess with it. it up a little more and I'll just add till it runs out and then we're good to put it together
Interesting writing on the bottom of this battery. Factory battery yet. Just did a pressure check on it. Clean the umbrella valves. And she holds pressure like a brand new one. She's all ready for a northern Michigan winter. All right. Finished filling this. And I got to do a brake service to it, which is just cleaning the brake calipers and relubing them. And make sure everything else is working properly. So I hope I could have saved you a couple bucks. Don't forget, I sell the coolant delete kit for the rotor for 50 bucks. And it comes with the Permatex sleeve sealer. And this is stainless, so you'll never have problems. I see there is one out there that somebody's using steel. And I don't know how that's going to work over time. Because you've got some issues in there. Like I said, this ain't real fast, but it take a lot of takes a lot of fluid to fill this thing up. And if you got to do this on the floor, it's much easier too. All right. Till next time. The forklift stuff is waiting for tomorrow morning. And I got another Tesla coming in tomorrow for a 100 kilowatt battery pack swap. So I will make a video on that. So stay tuned.